not for this religious poison. Mm. Imagine that. You won't go to hell if you sin. And people believe this stuff. More and more, these motivational speakers is trying to water down the strictness of that Bible. Yeah. Here's the Bible says the wages of sin is, is death. death. Is death. It speaks plain. That's right. The wages of, of sin, sin is death, death. And the gift of God is eternal life. And these old false prophets and false apostles and fake bishops. That's right. Come out, they got a revelation. God revealed to them. There's no, you won't go to hell if you sin. Mm. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. Notice the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8 and at verse 3. God sent of his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. For what reason? And for sin. For sin. Condemned sin. He justified it. Condemned sin. No, he didn't. He patched you on the back and said, you all right. Condemned sin. He condemned sin while he was where? In the flesh. That's right. He condemned it. Condemned it. Hmm? That's right. He condemned it. And when you speak against sin, you know what they say? You're a cult leader. That's right. That's what they'll say. No plays in the church, no banquets. Yeah. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. No selling tickets. No selling tickets. Mm -mm, no. Don't have to pay to see a choir. That's right. So many hundreds of people, when they find out I'm going to be somewhere, they call my secretary, Sister Rollins, and sometimes they ask her, uh, how much you got to pay to see Pastor Jennings? She said, you ain't got to pay to see him. Amen. People are shocked. Yeah. Because they're so used to paying to see a preacher. That's they right. was interviewing Joel Allsting one day. He said, a preacher is just an actor. What? Yes. Oh, my Lord. And a journalist said, wait a minute, that's all you are? He said, yes, I'm, I'm just an actor. I'm on the stage in the front of lights. I'm just an actor. He told the truth. <laughs> he right. is. He is. He is. That's right. Mm. I'm not an actor, brother. I'm a preacher. That's right. Made by hands of heaven. That's right. If you're an actor, you get paid. Amen. I'm a preacher. I ain't getting paid. That I may make the gospel of Christ that without I may charge. Make, look at Pastor Paul down in Corinth. First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. That 18. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. Without charging you. That I abuse not my power in the gospel. When you charge the people, that's church abuse. That, that's right. Church abuse. When you charge the people, that's church abuse. That's right. And each right. time you charge the people to see anything, and that thing's supposed to be of God, do you hear what the Apostle Paul said? What is my here, reward here, then? Here, us. First Corinthians. Here, us. Mm -hmm. the church you go to, you got to hear. Yeah. You got to pay to see that, to hear that song. Mm. You got to pay to hear that choir. You got to pay to hear that so-called preacher. Go ahead, man. You got to stand in line to buy a ticket to hear that fraud. <laughs> That's right. Do you hear the word talking? First Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 18. What is it? What is my reward then? What is my reward then? Verily that when Verily I preach the gospel. when I declare God's word. I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. I may make charge. the gospel of Christ without charge. Charge that I abuse not that my I power. That I abuse not my authority in the gospel. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You gotta pay a preacher to preach. That's church abuse. That's right. Amen. That's right. You gotta pay a choir to sing. Church abuse. That's right. You gotta pay a soloist to sing. Church abuse. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I got to pay all of these musicians that we have around the world to play, to praise God. To praise God. Church abuse. That's right. That's right. I got to pay you to praise God. Give me the book of Psalms. Quickly. Amen. Amen. You mean to tell me I got to pay you to praise God on the high sound and cymbals? High sound cymbals. Praise God on the organ? Psalms 150 and at verse 1. Says what? Praise ye the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. And what? Praise him for his mighty acts. Yes. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Yes. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. What? Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. I gotta pay you and all just because you giving God praise. Right. On the trumpet. That's and right. now I gotta pay you. That's right. Go ahead, man. That's abuse. That's right. The word of God speak plain. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Someone say, I got to make a living some way then get a job doing something else. Go ahead, brother. Well, I got to pay you 
and you claim you praising God, go ahead. you show me one person in that Bible go ahead, that man. praised God on an instrument and got paid. Go ahead. If I'm praising God, I'm doing it for God's glory and not to entertain nobody. That's right. That's right. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him, hallelujah. Oh, we take God with the sound of the trumpet. Of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and heart. Praise him with the sultry and heart. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Wait a minute. Praise him with the tremble and dance. And dance with it. When the spirit get a hold of you, the spirit, hallelujah, will get in your feet and make you dance. That's right. That's right. I got to pay you for dancing? For dancing. Mm. Not this junk where people play music over speakers and then they get praise dancers. All the musicians are playing and there's praise dancers doing steps. Right. <laughs> That's right. Praise That's right. dancers. Praise dancers. Temptations. That's right. Glad it's night in the pips. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Entertainment. That's right. That's not church. Amen. It's entertainment. Amen. And the preachers want to fight me to protect the entertainment industry. That's it. That's it. That's what the churches are. They are entertainment industries, and preachers want to fight because now they are wallet. Their income is being jeopardized. That's right. Because when the people start leaving, income being jeopardized. Yeah. Viewers, that's why you find these fellas all over social media fighting Pastor Dennis. Oh, yeah. Their income is getting jeopardized. That's right. They ain't come getting jeopardized when they see the people leaving. That's right. Talking about the truth of God all in their congregation. Income getting jeopardized. That's right. Are you listening? Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Harp. Praise him with the tremble and dance. What else? Praise him with stringed instruments. What? Praise him with stringed instruments. All these guitar players we got all across America and overseas. Right. I'm not paying them one dime. That's right. Let a guitar player come to me, Pastor Dinner, I'm not going to play a lick until you give me a dime or I'm <laughs> leaving. I'm going to open all the doors in the building <laughs> and tell them that you choose which one you want to go out of. That's right. That's right. Wouldn't pay you a dime. That's wonderful. Wonderful. You're teaching. supposed to be praising God. That's right. And when you're praising God, money is not on your mind. Amen. Are you listening, viewers? Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Pastor Jennings, you mean to tell me none of your ministers are on payroll and your musicians? No. No. That's right. We want to keep holiness. Holy. 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 Wonderful. Do you hear what it says? Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. And what else? Praise him. Wait a minute. Do the organ with it? Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. And organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Get loud cymbals. This beat hit them hard. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Get the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, Let everything that, has that have breath. breath. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Let everything. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God, glory to God. Let everything that has breath praise everything the Lord. Everything that can breathe. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. What I got to do now, pay you that, pay you that got breath? Mm. <laughs> That's right. If you got breath, you breathe the same. That's right. We ain't paying no choir. No We way. ain't paying no musicians. No. No. Supposed to be praising the Lord. Praising the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let everything that has breath Hallelujah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to God. Everything. everything. Everything that has breath praise the Lord. Your bishop don't believe this, view. That's why he want to fight this. That's right. It's, he he want to protect his income, his enterprise, his religious enterprise. Yeah. Organ players is leaving out of the churches, drummers and horn players, and even harmonica players. Right. One man wrote me and said, I played a washboard in church. Can I bring it and pray? He said, I'm baptized. I have the Holy Ghost. I believe in the truth. I told him, bring two washboards. <laughs> Amen. All right. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Church have became a synagogue of Satan. That's right. They don't want to keep holiness holy. 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 Go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 so we can knock off real quick. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9. What is it? God is faithful. God is loyal. By whom also ye were called. Praise his great name. God. God is faithful. God is faithful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so faithful. Hallelujah. God is faithful. 
I can depend on everything that's in here. That's right. Everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can depend on it. I don't have to worry about him changing nothing. No. You churches want to modernize it. That's we right. ain't modernizing nothing. No. We're going to keep holiness. Holy. 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 And ain't nobody coming in here changing it either. That's right. Wonderful. But Wonderful. did he say? God is faithful. God is faithful. By whom you were called unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ yes. our Lord. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What did God say? That ye all speak the same thing. Amen. Same thing. Everybody got to speak the same thing when that's done. And that there be no division. Won't be no among argument you, among you. But that you be perfectly joined together. How well? In the same. How well? Perfectly joined together. Completely. That's it. Completely. That's right. Join together. In the same mind. And what else? And in the same judgment. So you use the judgment of Scripture. If everybody used the judgment of Scripture, there won't be a non denominational church in the world. No, it wouldn't be. Won't be nobody claiming they're non-denominational, apostolic, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian. Won't nobody be saying nobody. that stuff. That's right. Everybody will be saying holy. holy. Even, <laughs> even, even right. some of the apostolics now, they're trying to change their rhythm. Amen. They're trying to slide out of their apostolic label. And <laughs> claim, they say, they, now they, many of them saying, you got to be holy. Amen. Before then, they was talking about you got to be apostolic. Now they got all these two wives women preachers everywhere, even everywhere. some of the apostolics, uh, even the church that uh, on 22nd and Bamman Street that Johnson used to be the overseer of. And he died in 61, and he was known for his strictness and hardcore Bible teaching. Amen. Even then, he'd been dead for 60 years. Now that organization denounced speaking in tongues. My Lord, my Lord. They say you ain't got to speak in tongue now. My Lord. False prophet that's down there said speaking in tongue was for them back in old days. He said, you that done it, you didn't know no better. Mm. My Lord, my Lord. Huh? And what make it so bad, you got old mothers and old brothers that received it 40 and 50 years. Now they saying, my Lord, amen. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. You see, you can sit under the truth, but that don't mean the truth is in you. That's right. When the word of God is truly in you, no false prophet can move it if you're steadfast. That's right. That's right. That's right. Some folks say, I get in the word. Big deal. Is it in you? Is it in you? You can get in the word all you want. That's right. It got to get in you. Oh, yes. Then it got to settle in you. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, take God. When it settle in you, yes. nothing and nobody can pull you out of it. That's right. Nobody. Imagine having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues for 50 years. And then the bishop that preached it dies. And then some jellyback false prophet come up and say he got a revelation from God speaking in tongues. is not the proof. You, you don't need that to have the Holy Ghost. And now after 50 years, you say, you know what? I knew it had to be a much easier way. That's right. He told the people, just say you have it. Just say you have the Holy Ghost. That's good enough. That's my Lord, my Never Lord. mind. Somebody wrote me and said, if you was an apostle, you wouldn't teach Terry. You would be laying hands on everybody and they received the Holy Ghost. I got to teach Terry because that's what the Bible said do. That's right. I got to teach all of it. Terry ye. The Bible says what? Terry ye in the, the city. The Bible says what? Terry ye in the city of Jerusalem. Give chapter and verse. Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. That's what? And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon Jesus you. Jesus said, behold. I send the promise of the Spirit upon you. But tarry you. If Jesus said it, I got to preach it. That's right. They was, tarry just simply mean to wait. That's right. They received the Holy Ghost. That's they it. waited. That's it. And then in some incidents, the apostle laid hands on them. Right. And then in other incidents, it fell while they were preaching. That's right. And I experienced all the above. Hallelujah. That's right. I experienced all of it. Amen. I've seen folk receive the Holy Ghost while the word was preaching. While the word was preaching. And I received... Folk lay hand, I lay hands on them and they received it. That's right. Then I seen folk, uh, they tarry, wait on it. Right. Don't charge me with it. I'm not the Holy Ghost director. <laughs> That's right. That's I right. can't decide how you're going to get it. How you going to get if it? If I can decide, I'll be throwing it on you because you talk too much. Mommy, start talking. Shoo. <laughs> Go right in your mouth, make you get started. <laughs> That's right. Make it fall on you. That's right. It's not up to me. I can't decide 
how God going to give it to you. No, no. That's not for me to say. No, no. Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? Do you hear what the prophet said? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 13. Who direct God's spirit? Or being his counselor hath taught him. Or being God's counselor and taught him. With whom took he counsel? Who did God take counsel from? And who instructed him? Who instructed God? And taught him in the path of and judgment. And taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. Taught him knowledge. And showed to him showed the way of him. understanding. You see, you people better stop going to the Bible and say, if it was left up to me, I think it should be like this. I think I, it should be like that. I think your thoughts and God's thoughts don't mix. No, no. My thoughts are not your thoughts. God set up a way. Yeah. And now tell the world you got to come his way. His way. You got the last side, what you think? That's right. And everybody got to speak the same thing. Same thing. Everybody got to be born again the same way. That's right. All of you that bow your head and raise your hands, you never will see. No. You got tricked. You got tricked. You got tricked awful. <laughs> That's right. You that looked at some fraud on television, awful. whether it was Benny Hinn or Creflo Dollar or T.D. Snakes or any of them. Amen. Or your pastor. Yeah. If your pastor stood in front of you and told you you that want Christ in your life, stand on your feet and repeat after me, and you did this in your church. Sincere. Amen. Put your hands up, mascara running down your lipstick lip. That's right. Talking about Lord Jesus come into my heart, come and send and wash me, cleanse me white as snow. And the preacher said, if you repeated that prayer, you saved, my friend. Mm -hmm. You no more saved than a tiger can get high and believe that his stripes turn to a plaid jacket. My Lord. You ain't saved at all. No salvation. That's Acts right. 2 38, the apostle said. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. That goes for you too, preacher. Amen. Preacher, you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You didn't obey Jesus. No. Jesus ain't never told nobody to be baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No, no. Jesus said, Be baptized in the name. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm a son at birth. I'm a husband at marriage. I'm a father because my wife and I got seven kids. Yeah. But if you ask me my name, what am I going to tell you, son, husband, and father? No. No, no. I'm going to tell you Jennings. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Jennings is my name. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles. Right. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. So Matthew 20 and 19 was fulfilled in Acts 2, 38. On the day of Pentecost, when Peter stood up with the eleven and declared what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Peter didn't say, bow your head and raise your hands, join the church no. and all of that religious rubbish that come out of hell. Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every, How one, much? Of, every one of you. That goes for everybody in here tonight who don't have this. I don't care if you a preacher, a so-called reverend, apostle, a bishop, if you're a pastor. That's right. And you baptize your congregation, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hey, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Pastor. you not baptized. That's right. And your whole congregation got to go back in water. That's right. And do it over. That's right. Then you, the, here, the Bible says, then Peter said unto them, repent. You got to repent for your sins. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You don't have your salvation like that. That's right. Like that, right. what he just read. Forget right. Geno Jennings. Get rid of him. Yes. Forget his name. <laughs> That's right. Take Geno Jennings. Just take that name and bury it. That's right. And just focus on scripture. That's right. Devil make you look at me because uh, to many I sound harsh, mean, rough. You used to preachers come along tickling you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> That's what they used to, Harris. Preacher come tickle you. Jesus. <laughs> That's right. We come along and take the Bible and hit you with the scripture. Hit you with it. Harder than a man take that switch and hit a horse. Shut out! <laughs> That's right. They don't like that. No. It hurts them. Amen. And man, he'll look at that second wife and tell him, look, I don't know what you brought me to hear that crazy man for. I ain't going to give you up. Huh. If that man had a second wife, he wouldn't give her up. Listen, I give up a second wife, a third wife, and a fifth wife to keep me out of hell. That's right. Just so happened I'm not in that predicament. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
But if I had a second wife and my first wife was still living, if I wanted to see God in, see peace, God in peace, I had to give her up. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I would have to give her up. That's right. Or burn in hell. Amen. Hey, Bishop, you got a second wife and your first wife is living? Tim, chapter Mark, quickly. So I can knock off. Oh, you got a lot to repent for, Mr. Reverend. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Reverend, your ponytail wearing Reverend. Huh? That's right. Listen at Jesus. Mark chapter 10, we're right at verse 10. Said what? And in the house, his disciples asked him again of the same matter. And said what? And he saith unto them, Whosoever, Whosoever shall put away his wife, shall put away his wife, and marry another, and marry another com one, committeth adultery against commit her. Commit adultery against and her. And if a woman shall put away her and husband, if a woman get rid of her husband, and be married to another, and get another man, she committeth adultery. Now go preach. Now go preach. Now put your hands over your ears. <laughs> That's right. Now get your organ. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A bunch of heathens. That's right. They are religious church going heathens. Amen. Amen. But this old fashioned holiness, holiness is here stronger and better than it ever was. He shall take holiness. And all of you that want to be holy, holy. for real. Right. Pack up and leave the church you're in right. right now. Let the preacher threaten you. His threat don't mean nothing. That's right. Let the preacher threaten you. Let him tell you you're going to die. You're going to die anyway. What's the big deal? Amen. Let him get in the spirit. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Shut the Lord. The Lord. I just, the Lord just spoke to me. They told me if you leave, your house going to burn down. Amen. No, if you stay there, all the work's going to burn down. All the work's. Preachers try to use scare tactics to get you to say, I'm glad I don't have to do that stuff. That's wonderful. You resort to scare tactics to keep people in the church. If the word of That's God wonderful. don't keep you here, then uh, you're not sound no how. That's right. So you that are watching, uh, you pack up right now. I don't care about your position. Leave. Leave. Don't look at what they're paying you. Leave. Amen. If you're a pastor in the organization, leave it. That's right. Well, should I write them? Did you write them to go? <laughs> Amen. Did you write them when you came? No, you ain't got to write them to leave. Come out from among them. Well, the Bible said, do all things decent and in order. Williams, would you please read to the people who try trying to decide whether to write a letter to Bishop to give them a heads up that they're about to leave? What did the Bible, how did the Bible say they should leave? 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. That's what? Wherefore, come out from among, among Wherefore, them. Wherefore, write a letter. Come out from among them. Wherefore, write a small thesis. Wherefore, come out from among Wherefore, them. Wherefore, write a few paragraphs. Wherefore, come out from among them. It says, just leave. Come out from among, come out from among them. them. And, and do what? separate, saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. Don't write them nothing. That's right. Amen. Don't write, don't email them, don't text Come them. Out. Don't Come even out. put a note on a pigeon. <laughs> That's right. Nothing. Come out from among them. You what? Wherefore, come out from among and them. And if the preacher said, that's not in order, tell them that the way God said do it is that orderly. That's right. This is holy. That's right. Huh? That's right. This is the holy way of leaving false churches. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. This is the holy way. Amen. To leave a church. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. We're going to keep that scripture holy. Holy. Keep it holy. We're going to keep it. Leave it. That's right. What should they do with? Wherefore, come out from among them. I don't care if they call themselves apostolic, Pentecostal. You know, the preacher's upset with they this upset because this is the greatest thing over social media. That's right. Oh, there's not a holiness program on social media that's banging creation. That's right. Thundering. And they don't like it. They don't like it. Hey Amen. I mean, they don't like it at all. Oh, no. I mean, the preachers are upset. They're hollering and <laughs> mad. Glory to God. It bothers them That's to right. see when we travel around the world, all these people going down in water right. in the name of Jesus Christ. They, they, they can't stand it. That's right. They you that like are it. here, save your soul. That's it. Repent That's and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's it. Anybody here tonight want to obey the Bible? The Bible. The Bible. And be baptized, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to get your salvation right yeah. according to the Bible, That's stand it. on your feet tonight if you want it. That's it. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful.